We've moved out of closed session and there's motions arising. I'll move uh, to direct administration to consult legal and write a letter to Minister McIver in response to the letter from Village of Rockyford and Village of Standard. Any questions or discussion? In response to the letter from the Village of Rockyford and Standard that was read into the record this morning. We think there are some inaccuracies in the letter. Inaccuracies. How can I, how can I respond? I'm looking to administration for advice. Um, so a lot of those items were just discussed in closed session. Um, yeah, and that's the, 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 it's a letter from the Village of Rockyford and Standard that were just, uh, that were written to the record this morning. Um, so I, I guess the motion on the floor would be to get, uh, engage with legal counsel for a response to that letter. Um, so yeah, that's it. And no. I believe administration will consult with legal. Actually, I guess we should clarify, you would bring that back to council for consideration prior to submission. Uh, yes, that's the intent. I believe to our first May meeting. Would you consider a friendly amendment? Yes, I would. So to consult legal to draft a response to Minister McIver to be brought back to council for consideration at our May, I don't have the date, at our first meeting in May. Shannon will have the date. May 3rd, thank you. Any other questions or discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. There, you'll have to have to wing it like I did. I'll make the motion that council direct administration to respond to inquiries from repairs regarding inquiries related to council Kester sanctions. Further, that council direct administration to release immediate statement regarding sanctions against Councillor Kester. So just to clarify, we're going to get a chance to review that before it's published or shared with the people? Uh, I hadn't intended on it, but if council wants to do it and just call a special counsel. I would, accept, or, I would accept that amendment. If you I, I, I yeah. would be far more comfortable if we did that. I, I, okay. I really yeah. would be uncomfortable not doing that. That's fine. Any other, so a clarification to have it be approved by council. Would we like a special council meeting to do that? I think timeliness is somewhat important. Council's wishes. There was reference to a special council meeting to approve the letter so that it's done in a timely manner. Or we can send it to Council's them. wishes. For, uh, for me, I, if administration uh, emails it to us and we accept it, unless there's something that's glaring out there that we don't have, uh, we have some strong opposition, then we might have to consider other options, but I don't think that would be sufficient. I'm sure we could do a virtual meeting. I don't know that we'd need to sit. I just, I, I would not be comfortable at all doing that without, even the one to McIver, I want to see what 
it's going to that's coming first. back to our next council meeting yes and an option for council too is just to take it as a straw poll by email and ratify the response to the next council meeting as well mm -hmm. if there un unless mm -hmm. there's um significant opposition then council can call a special council meeting yeah. any other questions or discussion all in favor opposed motion is carried I believe that brings us to the conclusion of our agenda. We're adjourned. Uh, just one quick question before we adjourn. Um, did we have to make any decision on that, um, oh, that letter from Gleeson, from the rodeo people? Or was that just information it for us? Because it was in the same thing point. for funding, and we had talked about funding. I can't remember if we approved that or not. Yeah, I think so. Council just accepted that one as information. Um, if it doesn't. Even though council has accepted that for information, it doesn't preclude council from putting a motion forward either, I guess, technically the meeting may be adjourned now or bringing it back at a later date for discussion for potential sponsorship for the event. Okay, yeah, that's, I just didn't know if we needed to make a decision on that before we adjourned. Basically, I saw what uh, the history of funding two ag societies have been in the last four years, and, and so that's why I moved to accept as information rather than giving them another rather than moving for a donation to be made because we've given significant money to ag societies in the last four years. Oh, so you think we've already done enough then? So. That's why I made that motion. Okay, I, I must not have been listening at that time. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. And my intention was just to touch base with them and see where they were at with their funding. Uh, they do have the opportunity, like the Carsland Ag Society, to also apply um, through the community enhancement funding. So there is that uh, avenue as well. So, but I will touch base with them and can bring it back to council if required. Any other questions? If not, we're adjourned. Thanks everybody. Thank you.